Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to bring you a um, look, not this one because I forgot to record the intro, that's why I'm doing it now. Um, so yes, I am going to bring you a look using the Wilderness Palette from Beauty Bay and I'm just going to go straight into the swatches. So I thought we would take a deep dive into the 20 colours in here. Before I decide what look I'm going to do, I'm going to move the mirror there so it's a bit easier and then you don't have to see that. So I'm going to start with the shade Snow and that is a matte cream. Oh, that's pretty. It's better if I even showed you the swatches. <laughs> that was really soft. Uh, then the shade Sky, which is a turp. Oh, these are lovely. Really lovely. That's Sky. Then we've got Ray, looks like a multi chrome. Oh, 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 that was a. So it's a multi chrome without a base. So it's obviously just got the shine. But if you put that over a deep colour, that's going to look really beautiful. And then we've got the shade tw Whoa, Twilight. Oh. Oh, that is incredible. Sorry, I just had to move it there. And then the final one on this row is Ocean, which has got a blue base. And then it's uh, got a shift of, there you go. Let me just put the light on that, actually. That might help a bit. There we go. So it's got a shift of like, see the shift there? There's like a greeny shift. So though that's the top row. Can you see that? It's like a blue, green, silver shift in that. Okay, on to the next row, which is the green row, which I might be using today um, in my eye look. I have an idea. So the first one is Forest. Oh, that's crumblier than the others, but very smooth to put on. That's very nice. Then we've got Breeze, which, oh, that's nice and soft. Um, the oh, look at that! Oh, that is a lovely turquoise sea foam green. Oh wow! Okay, that is impressive. Then we've got uh, mint. That's a hard colour to get right. That's really nice. That definitely needs building up, but it looks like you can build it up. Can you see that on my hand? Hopefully, you can. Uh, then we've got the Shimmer Shade Moss, which is this one here. Oh, I want to use that so bad. Oh my gosh, Moss is a must. Look at that. Oh, I've got to use that today. I've got to. And then the final one is Ivy, which is a deep matte. Oh, hello. Look at that. What a lovely row. I think I'm going to use moss today. It has got a bit of a duochrome sort of gold in there. So I think I'll use moss today. Okay, so next row we've got sort of a grungy row. I love this one. Uh, lime is, it looks like a lime duochrome with a black base maybe. Oh, hello. That is gorgeous. <laughs> How do you choose between them? <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so reflective. It's so beautiful. How do you even choose? It's got like a deep green base. Um, so when you, the reason, so how you tell there's a base is when you turn your hand, the, the colour comes up, you see here, when the light's not shining on it. So you can tell what that base is. And then it's got like a gold over, um, oh, God, that's lovely. So nice. Then we've got leaf. I might use this today. Oh, that's lovely. I've never seen like a jewel toned. That's like got a darkness to it plus a lightness. Like if you were to blend that out, it'd look a lot brighter. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got the shade Eucalyptus. These There's three mattes on this row, Eucalyptus. Okay, that's almost like a... I think I prefer Ivy out of the two of these. That's... Mm, do you know what, though? I think to build up, that would be really good. 
still loving this shade. Look at that shade. Uh, then we've got Marigold, which is this gorgeous mustard. Now, this isn't an easy colour to get right, so if they've got it right, I'm impressed. That is good. That's so good. And then we have... Uh, I feel like this is really out of place on this row, but I suppose it doesn't matter. We have the shade Fossil, which is the penultimate. Oh, this is much softer, more crumbly, this one, Fossil, um, which is like a rose gold shade. Um, and again, it's it's almost a duochrome because you've got um, a darker base, which is almost like a peachy colour uh, with this very shiny rose gold top. It does go, it does go, I'm lying, that does look really nice, but it looks a lot warmer, you know, so yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So I've got lots of excess glitter on my hand from Fossil, loads, so that's a really glittery shade and I also had to clean up the palette a little bit because it sort of crumbled, so just be very careful of that, maybe use it wet, as in put it on the brush, spray the brush, also I know somebody who um, has excess primer eye primer on the hand and they will then put it uh, they'll sort of wipe it on their hand and then put it in one of these so that it just doesn't fall out everywhere which is a brilliant idea okay so we have the final i feel like that's the only, the last sort of shimmer shimmer um and then we've got four mattes on the bottom that are very very warm plus this uh, it looks like a glitter so it's not i don't think it's a, a shimmer it's just got glitter in it so we will try these colors so we've got um, and apologies, there is glitter all over my hands. I don't know if you can still see that. Okay, so we've got Poppy, which is this... Oh, wow. Okay, that is impressive. For a red... Whoo, sweet, sweet. I've got... Oh, I've got so many looks I want to do with this now. You know, like, I'm just so inspired. Oh, I love this palette. It's beautiful. Um, we've got the shade Raw, which is a deeper... Burg oh, wow. Look at that. That's delightful. Absolutely lovely. Um, I don't know why I'm moving them around because there's no shimmer to them at all. I just sort of want to show you. I just I don't know, my hand maybe has some <laughs> stained my fingers. Look. Okay, then we've got heat. Let's try okay. So heat is like a satin with a gold. Oh, I don't know if that was just an overlay. Um I suppose this is it's very pretty. Um but I'm not sure I would use this on its own. I'd probably use this to deepen up something, to be honest. I wouldn't use it as a, an all-over lid shade unless I was adding this shade here. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's my favourite shade in the palette. Not, not my favourite. Then we've got Earth, which is a lovely deep brown. Oh, yeah, that's great. Uh, but it's very crumbly. That is very crumbly. And actually, it's really hard to get that to, to, to do anything. Wow, that was um, very crumbly. Um, there is no black in here. I feel like it could have done with a black. Maybe replace one of the reds with a black. Anyone else? Anyone else feel the same? And then finally, Sunrise. <gasps> That's lovely. I like Sunrise. I think that is my favourite. That and Poppy are my favourite on this row. Yes, that is not the most pigmented on that swatch, but um, it would be nice on the eye. I can tell just by the feel of it. That one I think is going to be really bitty and it just it's going to skip. Can you see? I just, I'm not sure about that brown. We have got Twilight, which is a deep colour, and we have got Ocean. So in place of a black, we should be okay because I'm going to deepen up with that. So today I'm going to do a green eye look. So... Let's get into that. Before I um, continue, I just want to show you, I put that on for a very minimal amount of time. That was straight onto bare skin and that has stained. So be really mindful, maybe set the eye first with the reds um, because, you know, you don't want to stain your eyelids particularly. That You don't want to scrub your eyelids to get the staining off. So just put a base down and then maybe set them with something before using those reds because they're very powerful is my... Um, is 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 my advice okay so i've brought you in a bit closer and as normal we are going to start with the p louise base on a brush um just going to 
get that on the eyelids. I've actually had my base makeup on for most of the morning because I've been working and it's now lunchtime. So I am doing my makeup at lunchtime. You know, filming videos, editing videos, all of that stuff. It's all well and good if your only job is, you know, YouTube. Uh, but when you have an actual job, a day job, it's not easy. But like this is a hobby. This is what I enjoy. I get to do something that I really enjoy. I get to play with my makeup more. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I am not complaining. I'm just saying you get you get what you're given with my base, basically. So that is the P. Louise done, and I'm going to set that today with the shade Snow in this palette. There. Um, if you've got a deeper skin tone, it probably won't work as well. Uh, typically for these palettes, they aren't always aimed at the skin tones that actually would suit more. This is a very colourful, lovely palette, but I insist on putting the cream, which I don't mind. It doesn't suit everybody. Unless it's a high, I guess it could be a highlighter, brow bone highlighter, maybe quite you know matte we'll see right so that's set I just did that bit there so I'm going for a green look I know I don't really do this very often um, I'm gonna start oh I'm gonna start with shade eucalyptus I'll just show you that shade so it's a deep mossy green although we have got a color called moss it's this one here um, so I'm going to use eucalyptus first. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just going to really put, oh yeah. I'm just going to place that here. I'm not going to blend it out yet. I'm just going to place that on the eye. Oh. This is the first time I have ever used a um, Beauty Bay palette. So this is really a very big first impression. And oh. oh. So far, I am loving that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm using this sort of angle brush. These are from She Glam. I'm using this sort of dense angle brush. I find that really good for placing color down on the eye because my it sort of fits to the shape of my eye. So you sort of keep the point in one place and you just move it up and down. I guess you could do that with anything, couldn't you? Um, <laughs> nothing unique about that, I guess. So I'm just placing that here and just above my crease because I will be blending it out with a lovely shade. Uh, oh, nearly went into the wrong one, called Leaf. I'm going to go in with Leaf. I just really want a nice grungy colour. I know most beauty guru people would do one eye and then do the rest off camera. But you get real time with me. You get the fluff ups and you get the, the non-fluff ups. You get it all. You lucky souls. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to take you. What am I going to take? I'm just going to clean that off um, because I might need it later. Might do, might not. Um, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the shade Leaf, which is this nice colour here. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, let's have a look. Uh, and I'm just going to, oh, I feel like that's too big. I'm just going to tap that off a bit. I don't want it to be too, um, I just feel like it's a little bit too big, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm just going to blend it out with that shade. I think the brush is a little bit too big, so I'm just going to use a smaller brush. I feel like it's just a bit too big for my eyeballs. That's better. Why didn't I just use that straight away? Who? I feel like that's taken off some of the colour. That's annoying. I'll go back in in a bit. So I'm using that shade to blend out that darker shade called Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus to me would have been uh, like a bit more minty, a bit more tealy. I'm just going to use that smaller brush. 
I quite like a little small brush of um, a small set of eye brushes, like just for small eyes. Like somebody make a set called small eye brushes. I think we'd quite like it. I don't know who else has got the same issues. Like everybody else seems to have a lot more room on their eyes than me. So I'm just going to use that leaf on this side to blend it out. I do think these aren't as easy to blend as some of the other shadows I've used, but they are so pigmented, I'm not surprised. So I'm just blending that through with that shade that I put down first. Oh, that's all right. Well, look, no one's a professional on this video, I can tell you that now. Not one soul, which means me. No pro here. There's no pros here. I'm just going to blend that down into the crease a bit more. Just blend it in. <laughs> that is green. Very green. So I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to take the shade Ivy. It's a really deep, dark green. Um, and I'm going to just really deepen this up here. Just in this bit. I'm going to use that same little brush. I just want it to be quite dark um, and really just deepen up this area because I think I'm going to do like a half, well I say cut crease but I'm not going to use anything to do that, um, I might use it wet, that's what I might do. So I am going to, oh, there's two shades that I want to use though and this is the issue, there's two shades that I want to use on my lid. Maybe I will. Maybe I will use them both. Maybe I'll use it half and half. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Will they even go together? Let's say yes. Let's say yes. <laughs> half cut crease. Have I ever done one of them in my life? No. I know what, I know what they look like. Am I ever going to do one? I'm 40 now. Do I need to be doing half cut creases in my at my age? Probably not. I really like this colour. So you can see here, I've got like a lump in my eye and it always makes the shadow jump. It's very annoying. I can't get rid of it. We are where we are, um, unfortunately. I'm just going to take this brush and just diffuse this a little bit. I wish it was smaller, but again, we are where we are. I just want to diffuse the edges. Same on this side. God, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I haven't got a frog ears. I ain't got, I ain't got a foggiest, mate. I haven't got a clue. Oh no! So neighbours have decided to do that, have they? Great. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take the shade moss. Ah, I just put nail in one. <laughs> is this the most chaotic one you've ever seen? Because it is for me. I'm gonna take this shade moss. It's so stunning. The swatch was stunning anyway, and I am gonna wet it. Um, so I'm just gonna put it on this brush. For, wow, it's it's soft. It's weirdly soft. It's moving around like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's moving around like a gel. Is this even a... Mm. So there it is on the brush. It doesn't pick up very well, so... Oh, I hope this works. Let me see if it'll pick up from... Doing... Oh, yeah, that works better. Okay, wet the brush first. So I'm going to put that here. Oh, look at that. Exactly what I wanted. Look at that shade. Oh my gosh. Okay. These should be illegal. They're set them. Let me just, I'll try and show you what I mean. Can you see? It's moved around like, like it's not even, like it's liquid, you know? I feel like there's a gel under there. Anyway, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm going to go from here. They go on so nicely. Oh, yes. I am in love. I love these shimmers. These shimmers are beautiful. I know that everybody has used the greens to create a look in this shadow, in this palette. I'm, have I done that? Anyway, 
I know that a lot of people have been using that um, this palette for the greens. I get that. Um, more than aware. But I just thought it would be good. Oh, didn't know that happened. Uh, it'd be just nice to do it that way. Right, okay, so I've got a smaller brush now. And I want to use this lime shade right here. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to try and pick it up with a brush. Oh, it's the same. It's the same formula. It's like, yeah, that's weird. Oh, I didn't even spray it. I sprayed my hand. That's good, Leah. <laughs> yeah, much better. Much better wet. Uh, so my advice, use um, a setting spray. Right, I'm going to... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that colour. Look at it. Oh, that's so pretty. Just blending it into there. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's made me super happy, you know. Not many things in this world make me super happy. My girlfriend's one. Uh, and my makeup is the other. That's sad. <laughs> that's really sad. I just got all gooey over makeup. They blend so nicely together. Oh, come on. If that's not the most beautiful, I like, greens you've ever seen. That would have been really nice as a cut crease, but, you know, I'm limited in my abilities. <laughs> Very limited. Right, so I'm just going to clean that brush off because nobody wants dirty brushes. And then I'm just going to try and blend... I'm not sure how I'm gonna I'm gonna try and blend these let me just make sure nothing's on that yeah I'm gonna try and blend these because I feel like this needs a good blend here there's got to be a way to make this a bit better because the problem is I've just got little eyes <laughs> so you know it's gonna happen okay we are where we are that's where we are. I always find when I do eyeliner, that's when it sort of um, works out for me. Right, I am going to do an inner corner highlight and I'm going to use the shade. I've got an itchy nose, bear with me. Not being funny, but why is my nose so red? Basically, <laughs> hold on a minute. So basically, <laughs> I've just opened the window. Somebody's mowing their lawn and I think it's just irritated my hay fever. Hay fever in the middle of November, you can absolutely do one. That is not happening. No. I'm just going to use this and... Oh, it's so pretty. It's got a green... Oh my gosh. It's so nice. I bet that'd be even nicer wet, but I'm not going to wet it today. It's so pretty. Okay, that's just... That's just ridiculous. I love it. Right, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish off my eyes, do underneath, pop on some eyeliner, some mascara and some lashes. And that is the finished look. I put on my, um, these lashes from the She Glam Magnetic Lashes. I only put them on the corner because I don't like having too much on there. And I am wearing on my lips today the, this is an oldie, isn't it? Uh, Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner in Addiction, which is this lovely nude colour. And over the top, I am wearing, I think it's number 47, of the Rouge Volupte Shine, um, what are these called? YSL Lipsticks. Um, I've used quite a lot of this, but the other one that I really love, I don't think they've got it in stock anymore, is, um, what's it called? I can't even remember what it's called, but it's my favourite one. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing that today because I thought a nude would go better with this look. Right then, so I will pop on my glasses and come back. Okay, so what are my first thoughts and my sort of final summary for today's video? 
Um, this is a really good palette for colour. So this, if you're looking for some colour, and unusual as well, it's not like a complete rainbow palette. It's got a bit more grungier, dark tones in. The for In terms of the Beauty Bay formula for me, because it's the first time I've used it, the mattes are really hard to work with, in my opinion. They lay down really well, but blending them out, you've just got to work a little bit harder, personally. The shimmers, beautiful. They're almost gel like and i would highly recommend picking up your brush and spraying it i used the uh, mac fix plus whatever that is um and i used that with i have to say they stood out so much better and they look like they're going to stay so much better so i would recommend using that with these shimmers and just this shimmer formula not this shimmer formula that's a bit different um, so yeah, my final thoughts are I'm looking forward to using more of this palette. Let me know if you want to see any other looks. Let me know what you thought of this look because it's quite bold. I mean, I, I, I agree it's quite a bold look. Um, would you have chosen those colours? What would you have chosen out of this palette? Have you got this palette? What looks have you done with it? And if you have a YouTube channel, let me know if you've done a video. Sometimes YouTube blocks people saying that they have a channel. So um, I... I don't know how to stop that, but if I see the comment, then then I will go and check it out. If you can't, because you can't post links. So if you want to, go to my Instagram and send me a message or comment on the picture, um, uh, comment on anything, uh, and I'll go and check out your, let me know you've got a channel so I can go and check it out. Right then, thank you very much for checking me out today. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you have. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because I would absolutely love it. Although I'm not really here for subscribers because if I was, I would have tried a lot harder in the last six years. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.